What if the view from your bedroom window is an endless cluster of stars? This could happen if you were born in space and you lived there. Imagine your home is a giant spaceship, wandering in space looking for a planet to call home. This would mean you were born in no gravity, and in today's video, we will discover what happens if you are born in a place where there is no force pulling you to the ground. Now, life in no gravity means you are just floating around from one place to another, but this is also only possible if you were born in space. That means your life looks very different from those on Earth. Things are going to be way advanced. You might even have a pet robot, and you are not living in normal houses like those on Earth. Your home is a spaceship that's likely to be as large as the New York Central Park. But before we explore more about this life in space, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Now coming back to where we were, living in space means you are surrounded by some brilliant scientists who are carrying along this spaceship and making discoveries about space. They might even be training you to do the same. If you do not like your job on Earth, moving to outer space might be a good idea. Being born in space means that the ship is the only home you have ever known. You have your bunk bed, a small workspace, and a compact version of everything you might need. The best part is that when you look out the window, you see a magnificent view of the stars. Of course, the ship might be able to maintain some level of gravity so that you don't completely fly off in space like a balloon. But what if there is zero gravity on the ship as well? Maybe then you are moving around on some advanced hoverboards. There are no roads like on Earth, and the infrastructure is completely different. But you have some markets where you can get food supplies, maybe even some ice cream. Now, what if? This is way into the future, and you are born in space a hundred years from now. Maybe Earth was not capable of being our home anymore, and now your journey starts in the middle of nowhere looking for a new planet. You might recall some things from when humans lived on Earth, such as music. Imagine if today's pop music became the classical music of that time. Pretty soon, your ship might get an alert that a planet is nearby, and now you might settle there, and if it has no gravity or not as much as Earth's, you might be living in heavy spacesuits that help you maintain your balance. Imagine your go-to outfit being a heavy metal suit. But this means all laws of science are going to be different now. The gravity that Newton discovered no longer exists, so everything will have to change it might be difficult for you to survive. So the bigger question is, if we are born in zero gravity, how will the human body adapt? Can they survive in such a different environment? We have seen how humans have evolved, adapting to their surroundings by developing different structures. So we would expect the same to happen if you are born in zero gravity, because you won't be able to feel your weight anymore. The weightlessness is because what you are experiencing in outer space is not exactly zero gravity, but zero G. And this is the acceleration due to gravity that is felt as weight. This G has a huge impact on our body because it ensures the way we develop on Earth. In an environment of zero G, things are about to be different. You might feel out of balance. It's like you just got off a roller coaster. This is because the vestibular system is developed differently. After all, the flow of fluid inside your ear canal determines your movement. But with no gravity, the fluid is confused and so you're disoriented. Nearly all fluids in the body are affected because of zero-g. With gravity, these fluids are held in place because they are being pulled down. But with no gravity, the fluids spread all across your body randomly, and that can have different consequences. Like many astronauts, you might end up with a lot of fluid pressure on your face. You might end up with a puffy face even without eating all that junk food. This can impact your nerves, like the expansion of the optic nerve which can cause compromised vision. So then, humans can end up looking pretty different if they were born in space. Living in an environment with no gravity could make them adapt to these changes. You might end up having a bigger head because there is a lot of fluid pressure there, or the heart might pump less blood because it is in the illusion of so much pressure. You can even have different skin colors due to the changes in melanin production. Melanin protects the skin from the sun's radiation, so if you are in space, Melanin production can vary depending on how close you are to the sun or any star, and that could change the skin color of humans in space over some generations. Imagine having blue skin like the avatars because that is what's best for you to survive. Now another important change in the human body is in the bone structure and the muscles. Turns out, you might not be able to do the same weightlifting in the gym as before. Due to the absence of the necessary stress on bones caused by Earth's gravity that helps it maintain its structure, they will likely wither away and shrink as they lose mass. 
and with that, your muscles can become smaller too. But there is no use crying about it since no gravity means there is nothing to pull down tears from your eyes. So then such a big change in your environmental conditions would mean that your body is likely to adapt to these changes so that you can survive in zero gravity. You might look different than an average human being from Earth, but try not to look too different because they might end up mistaking you for an alien. What if you come back to Earth and they send you back because it turns out your body cannot handle the Earth's gravitational pull anymore? If you have watched the movie, The Space Between Us, you might know what I'm talking about. Poor Gardner's heart could not handle being on Earth, so he had to go back to Mars. But this all is possible if we imagine you can be born in zero gravity. What if that's not the case? What if this is something that can only be achieved in the far coming years when we don't have Earth? Imagining life in space seems like a nice idea, surrounded by all the amazing tech and a whole different life filled with adventure. But that is only to say if it were possible for you to be born in a situation where there is no gravity. It might mean that there won't come a time when your body begins to adapt to space. According to scientific research, it's nearly impossible to conceive a baby in space. Human sperm needs gravity to reach the egg for fertilization, so zero gravity makes it an extremely rare chance for fertilization to occur. Now, if we assume that conception occurs, the absence of gravity would complicate the embryo development due to the poor flow of fluids from the mother's body to the embryo. The fetus survives in fluids of the uterus. It requires proper flow of blood to gain nutrients and develop, which can be severely disrupted if there is no gravity. Even organ development could be unpredictable since a lot of it is dependent on the gravitational pull. So chances are, it is nearly impossible to be born in zero gravity. But if we consider such a birth taking place, the chances of survival in space could be low unless we manage to provide the baby with a similar gravity to that on Earth. At least till the future generations of babies born in space have completely adapted to zero gravity by changes in their physical structure. One other thing to keep in mind is that survival does not depend only on your physical structure. Psychological well-being plays a part too. Imagine if this was happening now instead of a hundred years into the future. This would mean there is no giant space civilization. There are very few astronauts in space who are on a mission. You might be very lonely growing up in space in an artificial environment. It might drive you into depression, compromising your social abilities. So then it might be that being born in space could happen only when a large amount of humans have moved to space, perhaps due to the Earth becoming hostile or because it was destroyed. Since space would be the new home for these future humans, you might evolve into surviving there, possibly living a life as we pictured at the beginning. When will that time come? We don't know yet. Will our bodies completely change over time if we live in zero gravity? How exactly will we look? These are questions that will be answered in the next few decades.